Welcome back. Racist messages, including a picture of a burning cross, have sparked an investigation at UW-Eau Claire and led to five players being suspended from their football team. Our own Katrina Lim spoke with the chancellor and the targeted group to learn what comes next. I am disgusted by the actions of some of these students. There's no place for that here. The Chancellor's Office says several football players are suspended from the team for allegedly writing these racist messages targeting members of the Black Male Empowerment Group. Very derogatory. Very unacceptable. Um, there should be no tolerance like that in this, in this field whatsoever. The messages allegedly show several football players joking about hosting a white male empowerment meeting, posting a picture of the KKK burning a cross. Whether it was in a smaller private group or not, it does not matter. This is inappropriate. It is not part of our conduct. Student leaders claim incidents of racism are not uncommon on campus. In September, Student Katie Langer claims she found this message outside her dorm room in North Hall. Honestly, not at all. It, um, every day, I, it almost feels like there's a recent incident every day. Other students fear these messages could be a gateway to a more escalated situation on campus, even violence. I think it starts with words. Um, and then later on, I feel like people are going to like start harming people of color. Since black students are already less than 1% of the campus, it's already hard enough to get recognition. And for them to be the group that is attacked or targeted is just really frustrating. Balaam says this incident won't deter BME from continuing to promote positivity on campus, but he does feel that actions should have consequences. We want justice. And by justice, I don't mean strikes and and, and going, on, going on all these boycotts and stuff, I mean actions, actions from the faculty, the administration. Um, it shouldn't be slaps on the wrist, there should be hardcore punishments. Now News 18 did reach out to some of the students suspected to have sent the messages but have not heard back. Chancellor Schmidt expects the Dean of Students Office will finish their investigation before the end of the month.